Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is going to be answering one of the most commonly asked questions that I get from my audience. And that question is, how do I get clients using LinkedIn? Now, there's not a one word answer to that question. And if I was gonna give you a really detailed, thorough explanation as to how you can get clients using LinkedIn, it would probably take me all day. So I'm gonna try and give you a few of the main pointers that I give to the people that I work with that you can start implementing from today that will get you a bit closer and on your way to getting your clients from LinkedIn. Now, if we start at the top, there's basically a lot of foundational principles that you have to put into place to get clients. It's not just a process of using the right message, sending it out and suddenly you just make like a shit ton of money. That's not the case and it has been misconstrued quite a lot online that you can just use a software and just spam hundreds of people at once and get a good response and just start making money. Like LinkedIn is a gold mine, but you do have to work it in the right way and it's not just as straightforward as implementing one little thing and then suddenly it just clicks and your agency just blows up. Now, if we start from the basics, the foundations are your profile. So the profile is where it all starts. Um, if any of you are in sort of Facebook ads, paid traffic, stuff like that, you will know that if you have a landing page that isn't doing very well, it isn't converting, there's something wrong with that landing page, which means that people are going to that page and they are bouncing, like they're leaving, they don't like what they see. So it's the same with a LinkedIn profile. You could drive hundreds and hundreds of people, you could drive a really high amount of traffic to your LinkedIn profile, but if your LinkedIn profile isn't congruent with the people that you're showing it to, it's not gonna convert and you're not gonna get people going towards your profile. With your profile, there's many different elements that you have to take into consideration for it to be SEO optimized, for it to be a good landing page to send all your traffic to. And that starts with the headline, the profile picture, the banner, etc. all of the visuals. With a profile picture and a banner and all of these basic things, if you don't have this in place, LinkedIn is probably not going to even try and rank your profile just because you've not completed the basic stages. So you want to fill out as many sections as possible and then we need to talk about how we can make those better and make you stand out to uh, basically against the rest of LinkedIn, against all, everybody else who is doing the same thing that you're trying to offer. If I try and lay it out in a basic way, you want to make sure you've got a banner on your profile, you want to make sure you've got a profile picture, preferably like a professional headshot, so sort of face on, um, professional, not just you and your mates, like you, you want it to look good, you want to look like a serious business owner. Otherwise, if you can't take yourself seriously, no one else is going to either. After that, your headline is probably the place that you want to get some keywords in. It's going to help with your SEO ranking and it's also going to give people a brief understanding of who you are, who you help and what you do. Now, in your headline, you don't just want to put like founder or CEO because thousands of other people will have exactly the same thing in their title and it doesn't really tell them much about who you help specifically, what your niche is and the service that you provide. Now, in your title, if you've chosen your niche, you know what your service is, you know what you're offering, you should have a bunch of keywords that are relevant to you. I would recommend getting a list of maybe around 10 keywords that relate to you, your service, your offer, and you wanna try and put them throughout your profile as frequently as possible. This basically helps with SEO. So LinkedIn is sort of its own search engine but instead of spitting out websites like google or safari like etc linkedin spits out names it spits out profiles and for your profile to come up towards the top when people search for facebook marketer or content creator you need to have those words littered throughout your profile as many times as possible without it looking overbearing like it still needs to make sense but as many times as possible so that you actually do come up in searches if someone called searches for you most people on linkedin will not search for a name unless so you've got a big personal brand and they're looking specifically for you they already know who you are they're most likely looking for somebody with a specific set of skills so that skill set all those skill sets that you have need to be throughout your profile um, this is mainly through skills and endorsements you've got a maximum of 50 that you can fill out i would recommend filling out as many as possible without getting into too much more detail of a profile i'm going to be doing an audit of iman's profile in a later video so i'll go through all the specifics on a real life example at a later date but for now like the basics that you need to take away for your profile is filling out all of the sections and having it keyword optimized the second part of that is your content so you have to have a content strategy in place that you can 
Basically put out value to your target market and sort of resonate with them, generate that top of mind awareness. You wanna put that content out as much as possible and then re-engage with the people that are either liking, commenting or sharing that piece of content. So with your content strategy, Again, I'm not gonna go into too much details or information, but you wanna be posting as regularly as possible, normally throughout weekdays in the morning around commute times or when work ends. Try and think about when people are actually going to be looking at that LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn is basically like a commuter's newspaper, so they'll probably be checking it in the morning when they're on the way to work. So think about what time that is for where you live, like 7.30 a.m roughly and try and post around that time for best engagement after the content you want to have your messaging so obviously you don't want to copy everybody else an issue with linkedin is that a lot of people can copy profiles they're copying people's headlines summaries they're copying the messaging templates this is just making it harder and harder for any of you to stick out it de detriments yourself and it detriments others that are trying to do the same thing now if you're a business owner you don't want 50 clones messaging you with the same service trying to offer you the same thing in exactly the same way with no originality because it's not going to stick out and instead of one of those 50 people being able to get a new client it'll be none of them because the business owner will get frustrated and that's what is happening with linkedin we're getting a bit of a saturation with spammy messages and people just not really taking any time to personalize a message and put in thought as to who that connection is and how they could benefit from your service and even if they are a good fit for you you can't just throw and try and sell people when you've not even asked them if they have a problem to fix in the first place with messages i can't tell you exactly what to write i can't give you a template because it's going to be different for me than what it is for you your, your service might be completely different you might be targeting a completely different niche so i would take time to maybe take a step back do some niche research take a few hours to just look at other people what they need like what is a problem in that industry and how do you solve that problem for them and then take that back in the messages one recommendation would be not to sell straight away you want to try and engage that person in the conversation you want to diagnose the problem before you offer a solution so don't just connect with somebody with a sales message, they're probably not gonna accept you, and don't do it on the first message afterwards. Try and personalize, try and look at their profile and pick something out to show that you have taken the time to look through their profile, pick something out about them, and then start a conversation with that if you can. That's sort of, they're, they're the main key areas that you need to focus on. When it comes to actually closing them as a client, I normally try and move people off to a call. So you can either take that call on, Skype, or I prefer to use Zoom. With Skype, you have to sort of add each other and stuff, but on Zoom, it's just a link URL that you can send them, and then you arrange a time, it sends them the confirmation, and then you can basically just both click on the same Zoom link, and it opens either as audio or video. So from LinkedIn, you wanna try and move people onto a call as soon as you can. Um, obviously, don't try and push it on them if they've been ignoring all your messages, <laughs> like it doesn't work, then just asking for a phone call. When it feels like it's the right time, move them onto a phone call. You should have a sales script in place and then you should try and close them on the call. The only time that you shouldn't be closing somebody on the call is if they have a business partner or if they have a legitimate reason as to why they can't decide on the call. And maybe to me is normally a no. So I'll either take a deposit from somebody or I'll just say, tell me yes or no on the call. Otherwise it's, I'm gonna take it as a no and that's kind of it. I'm not gonna save a spot for you. So yeah, that's kind of like, the basic process that I use to get clients on LinkedIn. I hope this was beneficial for you guys as well. And I will put a video up in the next few days of me doing a audit of Eman's profile and then it'll probably give you more of a real life example as to how you can implement it along with me in the video. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon.